Our mission is a big one, to build a generation of women leaders who will invest in their countries and communities, provide leadership in their governments, and change the way global solutions are forged. Our vision of a world in which political and civic leadership is at least 50% female by the year 2050. We have presidents, former presidents, ambassadors, and directors from Thailand, Kosovo, and Finland, the United Nations, and the State Department. You know, we have such amazing women come here on a daily basis, but to have women in such high positions of leadership in public service and to hear them address young women like me was so awe-inspiring. What really impressed me is that each of the speakers were true leaders and yet they were so down to earth. They were talking about how really you could be somebody who was in politics at the same time that you had a small child and that we shouldn't think about these things as being incompatible and that maybe the United States needs to catch up with what's happening in other places in the world. I think one of the most remarkable speakers was the, um, the former president from Finland. Nowadays, it's quite common the members of the parliament, we have 40% that are women. Many of them are young, they have babies, even when they are the members of the government. The question I'd like to pose is very close to my heart um, and concerns the need to bring grassroots women to the table and to give them equal voice in policy making. In working with Globe Med, I gained a lot of grassroots experience working with rural women in Uganda. It's easy to think about um, increasing women's participation at the boardroom table or increasing num the number of women in parliament, but rarely do we think about the need to also give grassroots women opportunities for leadership. We have to answer some really serious um, issues in, in new ways because a lot of things aren't being fixed. And what I would imagine is that if you bring both women and men to the table, different ethnicities, different races, you are providing a whole host of new perspectives. A way that we can continue and help achieve the goals of the Women in Public Service Project is to continue building these relationships with each other and to begin to, to form a community and to see how we can work together.